Hello friends, in this video we will make ethyl acetate by the Fischer esterification reaction of acetic acid with ethyl alcohol. Ethyl acetate or ethyl ethanoate is an ester of acetic acid with ethyl alcohol. It is a colorless clear solution which is highly volatile. Materials required for this preparation include 30 ml of 96% ethyl alcohol, 30 ml of glacial acetic acid and 6 ml of 98% sulfuric acid. Here we have the reaction vessel that is a 100 ml round bottom flask and all the chemicals pre-measured and lined up. First of all, add 30 ml of ethyl alcohol to the round bottom flask. Then add the glacial acetic acid that is 30 ml of glacial acetic acid into the reaction vessel. Now using a glass steering rod mix up the solution. Now add the 6 ml of 98% sulfuric acid slowly with stirring. Addition of sulfuric acid is exothermic and the heat can cause the alcohol from boiling off. To prevent that the reaction vessel is placed in an ice bath and acid is added slowly. Now a reflex condenser is attached on top of the flask and the mixture is reflexed for 30 minutes at around 90 degrees Celsius. So let us see what is happening here. It is the Fischer esterification process that is happening here where the carboxylic acid in the presence of alcohol and a strong acid catalyst forms ester along with water as the byproduct. So here acetic acid and ethanol forms ethyl acetate. So after 30 minutes we will set up the flask for simple distillation and collect everything below 100 degrees Celsius. This can also cause the distillation of water which is not going to be a problem because we will be removing that in the upcoming steps. I always admire the vapor column that is traveling along the distillation apparatus so I thought I would show you that too. The distillation of low boiling compounds are pretty fast to take place and the vapor column is very beautiful to see. You can see the distillate being collected very quickly and the whole process of distillation took only about 15 minutes to complete. The contents of the flask that is the distillate was then poured into a 250 milliliter separatory funnel. Then the organic layer was washed with some 25 to 50 milliliters of distilled water. This would ensure some of the acid and even some impurities if any present which is more affinity towards water would be removed with the water layer. A second washing was done with concentrated sodium bicarbonate solution and this would ensure that the remaining acid would get neutralized. After adding the sodium bicarbonate, the Separatory funnel was shaken vigorously to make sure that the organic layer completely mixes with the sodium bicarbonate solution. Now we wash the organic layer again with some distilled water. So in total we had three steps of washing. The first step was with distilled water. Then we washed with some saturated sodium bicarbonate solution and a third washing was given with distilled water again. Finally, the distillate that is the organic layer was poured into a beaker containing anhydrous calcium chloride and a second distillation was conducted and everything below 90 degrees Celsius was collected. And this is the final product. At the end, I collected 25 milliliters of the compound which represents a 50 percentage yield and then it was stored in an airtight glass bottle for storage. So that's all in this video. Hope you loved my video. These are my Patreon supporters who are financially supporting me even during this difficult time of COVID-19 and I am so grateful to them and because of them I am able to purchase some of the chemicals as you can see in my community tab. So once again thank you. Do subscribe to the channel if you have not done yet and click on the bell button for notifications.